our debate last week. <laughs> Attention to the words, though. The words, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get another debate. We'll see. But in our debate last week, remember when he said everyone wanted Roe v. Wade to be overturned? Well, exactly. I don't know who everyone is either. Because women have been arrested and charged for miscarriages. They didn't want that. No. Georgia, the, this election right here is a fight for the future. Yes. It is a fight for the future. And it is a fight for freedom. Yes. For freedom. And we know in America, freedom is not to be given. It is not to be bestowed. It is ours by right. Yes. It is ours by right. And that includes the fundamental freedom of a woman to be able to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. One in three women in America lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban. This includes Georgia and every state in the South except Virginia. Think about that when you also combine that with what we know has been long-standing neglect around an issue like maternal mortality. And with that, then, today I ask Georgia, are you ready to make your voices heard? Do we trust women? Do we believe in reproductive freedom? Do we believe in the promise of America? And are we ready to fight for it? Kamala and her group have seen what's happening to their campaign, and it's not going well for them. And they would like, just announced a little while ago, as I was coming off the plane, they would like to do another debate. Although, good entertainment value. A lot of people say, oh, do it, it's great entertainment. I've already done two. One with Crooked Joe Biden at CNN and the other one with Kamala on ABC. The problem with another debate is that it's just too late. Voting has already started. She's had her chance to do it with Fox. You know, Fox invited us on, and I waited and waited, and they turned it down. They turned it down. But now she wants to do a debate right before the election with CNN because she's losing badly. You know, it's like a fighter. She sees the pulse. She sees what's happening. She's losing badly, but it's like a fighter who goes into the ring and gets knocked out, the first thing he says is, I want a rematch, I want a rematch. You know, she's always said, we will confiscate all guns. Now she's saying, oh, no, guns, are, I think they're wonderful, right? Doesn't work that way. They're going to confiscate your guns. I'm the one that's protecting it. We, you know, we got the total endorsement of every gun group, including the NRA. Today I'm announcing a new plan to end all sanctuary cities in North Carolina and all across our country. No more sanctuary cities. As soon as I take office, we will immediately surge federal law enforcement to every city that is failing, which is a lot of them, to turn over criminal aliens, and we will hunt down, capture every single gang member, drug dealer, rapist, murderer, and migrant criminal that is being illegally harbored. I will ask Congress to pass a law outlawing sanctuary cities nationwide, and we will bring down the full weight of the federal government on any jurisdiction that refuses to cooperate with ICE and our great, these are great patriots, ICE and Border Patrol and our great Border Patrol. You do what you